You know, for a lot of folks, one thing still keeps us from switching to electric, the weight. Nobody wants to sit around waiting for their car to charge in hours when they could just fill up and go. Elon Musk knows that frustration, and that's exactly what he's coming after next. What's the closest thing to being a wizard uh, in the real world? And that's like creating new technologies. The 2026 Tesla Model 2 update isn't just another performance tweak. It's a full-blown revolution that could finally make charging faster than refueling. We're talking about a charging system that moves enough power to light up a small neighborhood, yet keeps your battery cool as ice. It's not just about speed. It's about how Tesla managed to pull this off without cooking the battery or melting the cables in the $7,899 car. And that's what we're diving deep in today's video. Welcome to Auto Gear Shift. We're approaching 17,567 subscribers, and it's your curiosity that drives every deep dive we create. If you're tired of marketing fluff and want honest, intelligent breakdowns of EV tech that actually makes sense, hit subscribe, ring the bell, and join a community that thinks beyond the headlines. How did Tesla break the limits of charging speed? If there's one thing that still frustrates a lot of people about electric cars, it's not how far they go. It's how long you have to sit and wait for a charge. You know that feeling. You plug in, grab a coffee, scroll your phone, and it's still not done. That wait is what keeps many folks sticking with gas. Elon Musk says the 2026 Tesla Motor Update is about to change that. Not just by making charging faster, but by changing what waiting even feels like. Tesla's engineers have taken charging into a new physical regime. 900 kilowatts of transfer power, a figure that once belonged to industrial power grids, not passenger vehicles. At this level, electricity behaves differently. The cable pulses like an artery, and thermal limits become the real opponent. The result? In early trials at Giga Texas, a Model 2 prototype leapt from 10% to 80% charge in 4 minutes and 37 seconds. That's less than the time it takes to unlock your phone, check your messages, and decide what playlist to play next. This isn't an incremental improvement. The Porsche Taycan, one of today's fastest chargers, peaks at 270 kilowatts and still needs about 18 minutes for the same task. Hyundai's Ioniq 6 sits near 240 kilowatts and takes 20 minutes. Even Tesla's own V3 network, the gold standard a year ago, lingers around 22 minutes. The new Tesla doesn't compete in that race. It abandons it. Musk's claim that this setup can add 200 miles in three minutes means electrons now refuel faster than gasoline, the first inversion of the century-old energy hierarchy. What makes this possible isn't a single trick, but a complete reframing of the drivetrain as a dynamic energy organism. The inverter, built with silicon carbide transistors, responds to electrical load with the precision of a nerve cell. The battery no longer sits at the end of the circuit, but inside a loop of real-time feedback. Tesla calls it adaptive pulse control, where current and voltage reshape themselves millisecond by millisecond to avoid the entropy that kills most batteries. This shift transforms the charging process from a transaction into a conversation between the charger, the motor, and the battery. Every amp is negotiated, not forced. That's why the system can safely push megawatt-level currents without melting itself. The cables, cooled by liquid channels fine as veins, hold more power than a suburban transformer and yet remain touch-safe. Do you think Tesla has finally made charging faster than refueling? Comment yes or no and let us know your thoughts. To make that clearer, let's move to the next part. Why can Tesla charge faster without destroying its battery? The 2026 Tesla motor doesn't just charge faster. It rethinks what a motor is. Underneath the outer shell, every material, every current path, and every cooling channel has been redesigned to solve one paradox. How do you move more energy, more quickly, without destroying what you're charging? That's where the new carbon-wrapped rotor becomes more than a mechanical part. It's a conductor, a stabilizer, and a heat manager all at once. 
Traditional rotors expand under heat and centrifugal force, throwing off balance and efficiency. Tesla's engineers solved this by wrapping the copper core in ultra-thin carbon fiber bands, pretensioned at thousands of pounds of force. The result is a component that actually tightens as it spins, keeping the electromagnetic gap constant and cutting resistance losses that used to steal precious milliseconds from every amp of current. This seemingly small innovation creates a chain reaction inside the powertrain. Less resistance means less waste heat, which in turn allows higher current flow without triggering thermal runaway. But Tesla didn't stop there. Beneath the rotor lies a network of liquid nitrogen microcooling loops, an experimental system that drops component temperature by up to 38% during peak load. Nitrogen is inert, ultra-cold, and efficient at absorbing transient heat spikes that typically occur when 900 kilowatts of power rush through the system. It's a delicate balance. Keep it too cold and materials contract, too warm and conductivity falls. Tesla's closed-loop regulator maintains that sweet spot, automatically adjusting coolant density in real time. Feeding this motor is a redesigned silicon carbide inverter, the brain of energy conversion. Silicon carbide transistors switch current at higher frequencies with minimal loss, turning electric pulses into torque with surgical precision. Where aluminum or silicon transistors once bled away energy as heat, SIC keeps it alive, boosting total system efficiency by 15 to 20% under high loads. This means every burst of acceleration, every rapid charge cycle, translates into motion rather than waste. But the real leap is not mechanical, it's neurological. Tesla's adaptive pulse charging software acts as a central nervous system connecting the battery and motor. Instead of dumping constant voltage into cells, the system modulates energy flow like a heartbeat, sending pulses that adjust their shape, frequency, and amplitude based on the battery's internal temperature, chemistry, and state of charge. The effect is profound. Cells charge faster, but age slower. In stress simulations, degradation dropped by nearly 30% compared to uniform current charging. Internal leaks suggest that this coordination allows Tesla to safely operate at over 1,000 volts, a psychological barrier as much as an engineering one. That voltage level was once reserved for racing or aerospace applications, yet Tesla's ecosystem now manages it calmly, without overheating, swelling, or thermal runaway. The voltage doesn't simply pour in, it breathes through algorithms that read microfluctuations in resistance and reformat the waveform before damage occurs. How is Tesla rebuilding the world to match its new motor? Tesla's new motor isn't meant to exist in isolation. A 900 kilowatt charging system is useless without an ecosystem built to feed it. And that's precisely the next stage of Musk's plan. The 2026 update doesn't just reimagine the car, it reshapes the map. Behind the headlines about carbon rotors and adaptive pulse software, Tesla has been quietly redrawing the geography of refueling itself. The upcoming V5 supercharger network, slated to begin deployment in California, Texas, and Berlin in early 2026, is the physical manifestation of that shift. Each stall is designed to handle up to one megawatt of energy throughput, the kind of power once reserved for cargo depots or data centers. Yet here, it's destined for a sidewalk near your grocery store. The architecture of these new stations mirrors the logic of Tesla's vehicles, decentralized, efficient, and self-sufficient. Every V5 site will operate partially or entirely on solar energy. With Tesla Megapack batteries storing excess charge during daylight and releasing it during the night or grid shortages. This approach transforms charging from an energy expense into a distributed generation system, one that lightens grid demand instead of amplifying it. In effect, every supercharger becomes a micro utility. It's a quiet inversion of infrastructure. Instead of the grid powering cars, cars begin to sustain the grid. According to Tesla's internal roadmap, global coverage is the next frontier. By 2027, Musk plans to expand to over 85,000 superchargers worldwide, roughly doubling the current count. 
The pace is astonishing, equivalent to installing more than 60 chargers every day for the next two years. And this time, expansion isn't confined to highways or urban centers. Tesla is experimenting with solar pods, compact off-grid charging units designed for regions with unreliable infrastructure. These pods combine fold-out solar arrays, satellite internet through Starlink, and onboard megapacks. They can be dropped by truck or drone into rural zones, deserts, or even disaster relief sites, bringing high-speed charging to places the electrical grid has never reached. This off-grid concept carries an unexpected side effect. Tesla's charging network becomes not only larger, but harder to disrupt. In theory, a natural disaster, cyber attack, or blackout could cripple conventional fuel distribution, but a mesh of solar-powered chargers connected via Starlink remains operational. The network doesn't just scale, it survives. Musk once called this vision energy independence at the planetary level, a poetic claim that suddenly feels like engineering, not metaphor. And there's another layer of disruption beneath it all, the NACS standard. By 2026, nearly 80% of all EVs in North America will be compatible with Tesla's plug. Ford, GM, Mercedes, and a dozen other automakers have already adopted it. That means Tesla's private network effectively becomes a public highway, one built and maintained by a competitor, yet used by everyone else. It's an almost paradoxical monopoly, open access that reinforces dominance. Every non-Tesla car that plugs in still enters Musk's ecosystem of billing, data, and software control. So what do you think? Would a faster, safer, smarter charging system make you finally ditch the pump for good? Drop your thoughts below. Yes or no, I want to know where you stand. If you found this breakdown useful, hit like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss the next deep dive from Auto Gear Shift where we cut through the noise, follow the numbers, and bring you the truth behind tomorrow's technology. Thanks for watching. And remember, the future doesn't wait. But now, it doesn't have to charge slowly either.